Hey Mustangs, it's now time to turn a dragster blank something like this into a dragster something like this. Now here are a bunch of pictures of previous dragsters created by Mustang students. You can decide to copy someone else or go with your own idea. If you have an idea that takes lots of extra work, plan on coming in before school and run it by me first because oftentimes we don't have the resources or tools for you to complete that project. It's fast paced, don't get behind, and if you are absent, hopefully somebody in your group can pick up where you left off. We'll be taking individual resources like wheels and tires and axles and screw eyes, and the screw eyes are the little screws that go on the bottom of the dragster that run along with a fish line through it so the dragster doesn't fall off the track, but sometimes it does. You'll be using different resources like cordless drills and electric drills, drill presses, and sandpaper, as well as paint to finish up your dragster. When the project's done, I don't grade how pretty or how fast your vehicle was, I grade your presentation. So your presentation is all laid out on Moodle, and the video requirements are also on Moodle as well. When you're done, you can donate the dragster back to our classroom, or many students decide to cut it in half or cut it in thirds, and you can take that vehicle home with you. Well, it's not a vehicle anymore when you cut it up, but it's something that you can keep if you like. Remember, decide what you're going to do with your dragster before you start in a group. If somebody wants a dragster that's not cut in half, then you've got to figure out, how do I get that? Which group do I work with? In making your dragster vehicle, you have to follow rules. Sixth graders have more than seventh grade. Listen up, sixth graders, here's your rules. Your dragster must be between five and a half and 12 inches long. It must have two large wheels, and two small wheels. It must weigh at least 40 grams with all the wheels, axles, screw eyes, and paint. If it doesn't, we have to put extra weight like a penny on the dragster. If you still can't make it heavy enough, you race against the seventh graders. They don't have rules. Seventh graders, besides using basswood, you can also use balsa wood, maple, oak, and some other materials that I have. I'll tell you about the advantages and disadvantages of those when we go through the project. Make sure that you keep on time, and if you need any extra time, come in before school or talk to me about coming in at lunch. Enjoy the project.